Texas is set to execute a San Antonio man tomorrow who killed a Lubbock woman while on Marine Reservist training. Rosendo Rodriguez was arrested after a landfill worker found Summer Baldwin's body in a brand new piece of luggage back in 2005. He also confessed to killing a missing 16-year-old girl from Lubbock, Joanna Rogers. His attorneys have asked the U.S. Supreme Court to halt the execution. A new debate over how to apply the death penalty is unfolding at the state capitol. The American Bar Association is recommending defendants not be executed or sentenced to death if, at the time of their offense, they had a severe mental disorder or disability. And now, as KXAN Steffi Lee explains, it's up to Texas lawmakers to figure out what exactly that means. Our courts have repeatedly asked the legislature to step up on this topic. Judges have been asking for an instruction on intellectual disability for, for over a decade. Judge Elsa Alcala speaks from experience. She serves on the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals. Without the legislator's guidance on writing the law, courts have been required to come up with their own version of uh, the definition of intellectual disability. And that version was recently struck down by the United States Supreme Court in 2017 in uh, Texas, uh, in Moore versus Texas. Judge Alcala says unless lawmakers act and pass a law defining intellectual disability in death penalty cases, then courts will once again have to come up with their own definition. So the danger is that we, we're more in a legislative function than we are in a judicial function. Some mental health advocates suggest one place to start. The state of Texas already has standards in place to gauge eligibility for for example, like Health and Human Services, and so we would support mirroring that. Now it's up to the ones who write the law to clarify the process so there's consistency in applying it. That was Steffi Lee reporting from the state capitol. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled in 2002 that executing individuals with an intellectual disability is unconstitutional. In Moore versus Texas, the case Judge Akala refer referenced there, the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals, had applied an intellectual disability test based on another case, but the Supreme Court rejected that decision, saying when determining who is intellectually disabled, it must be informed by the medical community.